Hello and welcome back. I want to talk about my experience with flex fuel or E85. I purchased a new truck about six months ago and it was a flex fuel vehicle, which at the time I didn't really care much or understand what flex fuel was. Three months ago when I when gas first started increasing like crazy, I started looking at flex fuel. There were very few flex fuel videos about using flex fuel. A lot of the videos were how to convert existing cars to flex fuel. What I wanted to know was what are the advantages and disadvantages of running flex fuel? Well, this is my experience and what I ran into using E85 and flex fuel. I'm not going to get into detail about flex fuel and what flex fuel is. I have a detail below um, in the description about what, ex what it actually is. But E85 is essentially a gasoline ethanol blend containing up to 85% ethanol. Ethanol is basically a biofuel made from sources like uh, corn, grain, sugar cane, wheat, some other things. And it's cheaper to run than gasoline. If your car is a flex fuel vehicle, it will have a yellow gas cap like this and probably some label on the car that says flex fuel. And you will use um, the yellow handle at the gas pumps. Green is diesel, blue is unleaded, and there's a yellow handle. Factory built flex fuel vehicles have all the technology required to run using flex fuel. They have the computers, the sensors, and that they detects the type of fuel that you put into your car. Even if you have, let's say, a 50% unleaded and a 50% E85, it's gonna make the changes required in the engine so that you can run with whatever mixture you have in your tank. Also, I'm not gonna be going into all the pros and cons of running E85 or flex fuel. There's some links below in the description you can take a look at. But from my standpoint, there are two negatives and two positives, two pros and two cons. What's the positive side? The positive side is pricing. Pricing of E85 is a, is a lot less right now, especially today, is a lot less than unleaded. Two, performance. The performance of your vehicle using E85 is significant. You notice the difference. You will notice the difference in the pickup and the power. When you hit that pedal, it will move. and <laughs> it's, it's fun. On the negative side, finding E85 gas stations is a real pain in the neck. Um, when you're in the city, there's a few more. When you get out to the rural areas here in California, there are a few gas stations, but they're very limited. I use the Gaps, the Gas Buddy app on my phone that allows me to find gas stations that have E85. So if you want to use the Gas Buddy app, you can use that. It'll show you where the gas, where the gas stations are that have E85. The second negative is lower miles per gallon. They claim that's a negative, but when you run through this and I show you the numbers, I don't think that's really a negative um, that you want to look at. I'm a realtor and I drive 2,000 miles a month or so. And I drive a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic. It's a six-cylinder, 3.6 liter, and it is a flex fuel vehicle from the factory. So I ran about 3,000 miles using exclusively unleaded and then about 3,000 miles using exclusive E85. Here are the numbers I found. Now let's run through the numbers. Um, stay with me. We're going to do some math here, but I want to give you the advantages and disadvantages of running E85. With unleaded gasoline, I ran 3,320 miles on about 166 gallons. So you take 3,320 miles, divide that by the 166 gallons, gives you the miles per gallon. So we ran about 20 miles per gallon on that 3,000 miles. Now, pricing was 
going up and down during the time I was doing it. So pricing, I was paying three five dollars and twenty cents up to five dollars and sixty cents. So for this comparison, I just broke it in the middle. Five hundred and fifty. I'm sorry, five dollars and fifty cents a gallon. I know gas is now six, but I'm going to use that number. So you take 166 gallons times $5.50 gives you $913. So it cost me about $913 to do that 3,000 miles. Now, using the numbers today, which is with pricing over $6 a gallon, that would be well over $1,000. Now with E85, I went 3,240 miles on 202 gallons. So you take 3,240 gallon miles, divide that by the 202 gallons, gives me 16 miles of the gallon. Now with unleaded, I was getting 20 miles of the gallon. With the 85, it drops down to 16 miles per gallon. And I'll explain somewhat in a second what that means. So you take the 202 gallons. Now I was paying 359 a gallon. It went up in the middle of this gas crisis crap we're going through to 369. So I'm just going to use 370. So 202 gallons times 300 or $3.70 is $747. So, so what does that really mean? What's the true cost of running unleaded versus E85? So let's take a look at it. $913 for unleaded gasoline at 300 or 3,320 miles. That means my cost per mile was $28 per mile. For E85, $747, divide that by 3,240 miles, gives me 20 cents, 20 cents, 23 cents per mile. So even with the lower miles per gallon, I am. it is costing me a lot less to run um, E85 than it is unleaded. Now I did some further calculations and determined that the price of unleaded and E85 need to get within about a dollar of each other. So if, if the price of gas was 450, 460, 470, and E85 stayed at the price of 350 to 360, 370, it would be about even. Our break-even point, or my break-even point on these calculations in my truck is about a dollar. If there are a dollar difference, it doesn't matter if I use E85 or unleaded, the cost is going to be about the same. But why was E85 16 miles to the gallon and unleaded 20 miles to the gallon? They talk about this being a negative, but you can see it didn't matter in the, in the cost per mile. But regular unleaded gasoline is 87 octane. E85 varies, but it's 100 to 110 octane. So you're right, you're raising the octane levels of your, of your fuel you're putting in your car. And by doing that, it increases the performance, the horsepower, the torque of the flex fuel vehicle, which lowers your miles per gallon. If you want a more detailed description on this, I put it down below, but you definitely feel the difference. When you hit your foot on that pedal running E85, your car jumps and it has more performance and more power. Now I did run into a negative with running E85. I have a boat that I tow with my truck. The boat and trailer weigh about 4,000 pounds. My truck's towing capacity is about 6,800 to 7,000, so I'm okay but I am pushing the upper limits when I'm towing the boat. When towing my boat, using unleaded gas, I get about 10 to 11 miles to the gallon. Using E85, it really drops. I get maybe five to six miles to the gallon. I don't know why, I don't understand why, but I have a 25 gallon tank. And at six miles per gallon with E85, <laughs> it only gives me a range of like 150 miles. With unleaded at 10 miles of the gallon, I can get 250 miles, which means I can get to the Colorado River from my house with one tank of gas as opposed to having to stop. So is that a negative? I don't know. But 
I do know that you struggle pulling a boat, so this helps when I run unleaded net. I filled my tank today with the 85 gas, and it cost me about $85. With the current price of unleaded at that same station, the cost would have been about $135. So using 85 does make a big difference in cost. Sure feels better than paying $85 as opposed to $135. So the bottom line is, the way I figured it out, E85 works really well with me. I use the Gas Buddy app um, to locate E85 stations. And when I can find them, I use E85 because the price is much less than unleaded. I filled my tank the other day. Oh, I'm sorry. So on another note, as I close out this video, we did a couple of trips over the past few weeks in our RV. And we have diesel. And one day we stopped to get some diesel fuel. And the cost of diesel here in California was right at $7 a gallon. I put in over $350 in my tank and it didn't even fill up the tank. This is freaking crazy, the cost of this stuff. So I, I hope this was helpful. Um, I was looking for information on how to, the advantages and disadvantages, and I just didn't find any. So I just wanted to run what I've experienced using E85. I'm going to continue using it. I will be using it. Um, it's a factory built flex fuel vehicle. So I really like the pricing and I like the performance. I'd love to hear any comments from you or if you have any questions, let me know. Just put them in the, in the comments below. This is Jeff signing out until next time. Goodbye.